Well, if you remember yesterday, we discovered that these tag axle bushings were shot. Today, we're going to pull into it and see what exactly what's going on inside there and how much damage we have from the... This is all caused by lack of grease. So if this thing would have been greased regularly, this would have never been a problem. Um, this it's just it's unfortunate this happened. We got to tear into it and it's quite a bit of labor. Okay, we're getting ready to remove this tag axle swing arm to see how messed up this bushing and if the tube's damaged or not. We're gonna find out here real soon. So we're just using a ATV jack under there, and Hunter just disconnected the shock, and we're gonna. I think we're gonna have to take off the airbag too. Uh, and then the brake line, just get it out of the way. We're having to cut this inner race off of here. Um, we're not damaging it like they did on the other side. We're just getting it most of the way and hitting it with the chisel, but it's, uh, it is spinning on there now, but we can't get it off. This is so, a hard lift right there though. Was spinning. Is it, it cooled off already that quick, you think? Maybe. Let's see if it'll spin. Like shit. Pullers, it was a gift from Dennis. chisel in between there and see if we can Is 
Is it welded? Has somebody welded that on? Is that just rust? That has to come off though, because that axle shaft, that swing armor goes in that tube quite a bit. Tyler, stick your head in here and tell me what you think. To me, it looks like somebody welded that. It looks like it's welded. Nice. Here, hop up and I'll get down in there. <sighs> Somebody welded that on. I don't think it's supposed to be. Sure is solid. Try that up. Yeah. Hit it like you're mad at it, Hunter. Grab my purse. Grab Put it in rice. <laughs> more. Separating between the two plates, like the bridge and the shafts there. Give me a second. Let me let mine down just a hair. gonna happen when it comes all the way out. You probably just all pull on it right now and get it out of there by how it's moving. Yeah. I got the jack of the other ground up the side end. Whoa, don't do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is, is it gonna Oh Jesus. I'm gonna have to pry again. rolling over this way. Which way? This way, but I think it's gonna hit once it gets this. Okay. Okay. All right, let's let it down together here. I'll...
How's the tube look? What are you waiting for? <laughs> I think it's ready. I think we decided we didn't even need that, did we? Did we need the... I'm probably gonna hide it if you want to. I don't, I don't think the floor jack we needed. Is that what was left of the shim is what fell out of there? Did I see this paper thing on the ground? So, so that jack lifted the entire bus by the top half. Then he put it down and hammered it off. I'm gonna grab that shim down there for me. Looks like a gasket. Well, that's copper. That's gone. With me. No, that's why it wore through. Part of it might still be in the thing, but it's, it's this is supposed to be super thick. This is like a, I mean, it's paper thin, it's worn through. bushing is paper thin, but it is not worn through to the tube on either side. So we gotta get the bushings out, replace bushings, replacing the one on the other side, get this one cleaned up and reuse it. New shims should be good to go. Okay, he's got the whole bushing moving now. Big pair of pliers and pull it out. This is wishful thinking about it. I'm down for that right now. <laughs> Don't cut yourself. Uh, bend this, this little bit of the end over and then maybe you gotta lift the grab. Tyler, where's the big cobras? Over here. Bring them out. Oh, you're just gonna break the tab if you've been. It was like the tennis part of the bushing. Johnny Cash on one piece at a time. <laughs> Ow. Ooh, that kind of like hurt. Bigger pliers. <laughs> yeah. You go get the uh, other bigger pair of covers. I ain't made those yet, but as soon as I do, I'll grab them. They're in the box. We <laughs>
smash it. <laughs> Is that little keyway thing? Hold up, wait a minute, just pulling everything in the back out with it. Oh. How cute this thing? Yeah. What if you take the air chisel now, hit down in the center and try to collapse it? Like here? Yeah. yeah. Don't hurt yourself. Sideways and towards the back, though. Get closer to that, yeah. Hey, you grab my purse. Treat <laughs> <laughs> on some rice. There's a possibility. Uh, so did it reach in there and grab that is that just grease in there yeah so reach in there and pull that shit out you're already dirty it's okay yeah there's there is metal in there <laughs> that more i don't know you need more than one i don't think you put your hands in there <laughs> You like it? Got your hand up an elephant's ass. <laughs> there's a big loop. Um, just Tyler, give him a paper towel. Right there's a, there's one right there. Hey Tyler, catch. How much is back there? Still a lot, or is it just getting to the end? About that much. Everything else is not. I'll take it from here. I just got another Mr. Cool here. This is going to go in the uh, apartment here. It's an air conditioning heat pump. 12K. And it's 22 sear like the other ones that we have. This is the exact same one we have in our bus, the DIY one. Super easy to install and it makes it very comfortable. Well, that was a long, hard day. Uh, it was built about six and a half hours of labor, just to give you an idea. We pulled two of those tag axle swing arms, um, cleaned parts, removed the bushings on the one side. Th that bushing like that was very difficult. Uh, not a fun job, um, but uh, the bushings, um, that seized wheel bearing. This side that has this bad, we're actually replacing the whole swing arm. Our friend Brandon at Cardinal Co Coach out of North Carolina, he's selling us a whole new swing arm. Uh, so we'll have a new spindle and everything just to replace it. It'll be so much easier to do it that way. Uh, only a few hundred dollars. So it was kind of a no-brainer just to do it. The axle surgeon, if we had them come out, it was going to be over $1,000. So this by far was the smartest choice to do. But uh, again, it was a hard day's work. Uh, removing both of those, getting everything done, fighting things, not coming apart, stupid things welded that should have been welded. Uh, it was just, it was a nonstop battle with things that were stuck today. But uh, we got through it all and uh, not, not too bad. the holler through the trees and from a mile away you can hear them play as they climb that hill with ease but at the top of that mountain there's a new life waiting for those who can make the run 
They can make it to the top, Scott will put them in the shop till their new life has begun. Bus Grease Mountain, where the buses come to run. Bus Grease Mountain, we're gonna get that big job done. 